Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, so, unfortunately my channel is not doing so well. So, I want to try to get to at least 1,001 subscribers by the end of March 31st. And that will determine whether I release this Yield Max dashboard and other uh, things to the public. I mean, if not, I mean, no harm, no foul. I'll just return back to like the regular, I guess, like the, the Yield Max summary. Um, but, you know, if you can, uh, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to keep this for myself and work on it some more. And so let's get into it. So this is just a limited preview. So I'm only going to show you AIYY on this part. So I like to like break things down in certain ways. Uh, this is just how I like to, to view things. If you think this is interesting, then, you know, if you can help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, so here you can just kind of see like like over the course of the week the change in like the options like the cash and like the treasury positions so I think this might be a like an interesting way to see things and this way you can also see like the change in like the different um, when they roll or like when things expire and things like that and then over here uh, this kind of shows you in like a slightly different way so let me see if I can scroll down a little bit some more so let's say, for example, I wanted to just see like um, for like the end of the last week, and this way I can kind of see like all the different yield max products. Like as you can see, like MSTY is just like a like a kind of like a really real standout, and like over the course of the week, you can kind of see like the change and like the the composition of the assets. There's some other things that I that I also wanted to show, but I uh, you know. Other people are just gonna copy my stuff, and then my channel is gonna be um, left left in ruins, and I don't think that's fair for me. So that's why, like you know, if you can, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, like I don't know what else to do. Um, so again, like I, there's some things I'm gonna hide just because like I don't want to, you know, help like other channels, uh, just because like they haven't been helping me out. So. It's just unfortunate. So this way you can kind of see like the nav and like the close. Um, so like for example, EMD, like the close is kind of like tracking like the, the net asset value. So this is a good thing. And then also on the bottom over here, you can kind of see like the premium discount like day by day. And as you can see, like the, the premiums are definitely higher than like the discounts. So this is why I always tell people whenever you see a discount, uh, try to grab it while it lasts. Uh, so I'm just going to end like this uh, preview over here. Uh, you know, if you want this to continue, again, uh, please try to help me get to at, at least uh, like a thousand and one uh, subscribers by the end of March. Otherwise, we'll just like go back to normal. Um, so it's up to you guys. So let's just go back to like the regular uh, spreadsheet that I've been working on for, for you guys too. So let's look at AIYY over here. Uh, so on the surface, like it, this is why I think this kind of breakdown matters uh, because like you can see like like for from the last week all the way to like the the start of like the new week, you see like AIYY go down a little bit, but it's not as bad as it looks because you can see like from like the start of the week from like let's say for example this date is really March seventeenth or like the day before. Um, you can see like the cash is like 458 but you can tell like over the course of the week they were able to to monetize this by turning taking a portion of this and putting it into treasuries so this way they can sell you know more options against it and as you can see like over here at the end of the week you see like the option position is negative 3.64 which is higher than negative 3.18 uh, so they're starting to position the option position in a better state for like the beginning of like this week so like i guess like when you at first when you just look, look at the price uh it could be a little misleading because under the hood you can see like it's actually not like not that bad um so for example let's look at the next guy amdy uh so let's let's see here so again it looks like amd dy like it's a little bit different uh because like the cash position like went down a little bit the option position Again, you can see like the option positions. You're starting almost like double from like last week. Uh, 
so that's a good thing you have like more more uh, credit coming in and then the treasuries also it's also been kind of like underneath the surface like the treasury position is increasing uh, like over time with a little bit of a, a bump here and there and then let's look take a look at AMZY uh, so this one is doing like pretty well I would say uh, like the cash position it went down a little bit but then also like when you look at the options uh, it's actually like at a positive position like much higher than like where it started from like last week and then the treasury is also uh, is increasing so that's a good thing so aptly so it went from 1708 to 1714 so again not not that exciting uh in fact like from la last week you can see like the cash position started off like in a bad state uh, it started off like a negative but then like over over time they've been kind of increasing the cash position a little bit more uh, and then the, the treasuries unfortunately is taking a bit of a taking a bit of a dive and then the option position unfortunately is not that interesting either um it kind of like it went in the right direction like towards like the end of the week but then like it, you know for example you see from like 24 cents it went down to like zero cents which is a good thing and then they started over again like for the new week for 22 cents so about kind of like the same where they started and then coney surprisingly um even with like the some of the dip in like cryptos they've actually been able to to maintain like the the price or in fact like they actually increase a little bit and then you see like the cash is pretty interesting and went to zero which is probably not what you want to see uh and then like the options like it actually increased like in the middle of the week and then it kind of went down to like only one cent uh to start the new week so that's probably not the best thing um i guess to kind of offset that at least like the treasury position uh is increasing so hopefully they're they're reloading and preparing to sell you know more options for like the, the coming week uh disney disney is surprisingly holding up uh better than like where it was like like a few months ago so i'm glad to see that like the cash position uh went, got chopped in half but it looks like they've been trying to move it more into treasury so they can eventually sell more sell more uh some more premium uh like the option position went down a little bit and went from a positive 0.52 um to to end the week at um 109 and then it looks like they're reloading with 34 cents uh for the new week so this is probably why you're, you're seeing like they they were able to monetize like the option positions uh so that's where they get the, like the cash from and then like for meta uh phoebe so this is also looks like it's doing well on the surface like it went from 2241 to tw 2335 so but then like when you look at like the insides like the cash went from 321 to 103 uh so that that makes me a little bit nervous but it looks like it went down in a good way because like it looks like they're increasing the treasuries uh slightly and then subsequently hopefully they're rolling it over into like more option positions so so it went from like point ninety uh, negative point ninety one so they went from a credit to like a small small debit for like the new week so this could be good and then let's take a look at GUI well unfortunately GUI's it's had a, like a rough patch but it looks like they're slowly creeping back up uh, unfortunately the cash position went from two point one two down to point thirty six but that could be the, because they were they're reloading into their treasuries so it looks like over the course of like the week um, it's been uh, increasing and then like the option position interestingly enough it went from 0.75 to 0.97 so it looks like they were able to monetize some of the the short credits but then also at the same time take take advantage of like the long call so from 0.75 to 0.97 so you know that hopefully they can kind of continue uh, this positive momentum and then let's take a look at JP Morgan. So this one doesn't look that exciting. Like on like the surface, like the price only went from like 21, 20, 25 to 2159. But again, it looks like they've been able to take some of like the cash. Uh, so, Cause they had like a pretty big uh, cash position from like 6.54 and went down to 2.5. And it looks like so, uh, a good chunk of that went back into like treasuries so that they can eventually sell more credits 
and it looks like it went, let's see so for when we had a debit of two cents uh now it's going to like 27 cents uh premium so that that could be a good thing and let's take a look at modernity all right so all right so 20 Twenty dollars and eleven cents to twenty dollars and forty nine cents. Not too bad. Uh, so the cash position went down, and it looks like like the uh, treasuries uh, correspondingly moving up, and the option premium not too bad. Uh, looks like they they're going from a, a credit of one a dollar and five cents per share. Uh, so it's slightly less for this week, but it still looks like it's pretty decent. And then Microsoft. So a small bump up again in terms of like just like the ETF price, but then like you see like the cash. So it looks like like they started taking some of the cash positions, putting into like the treasuries, and then slowly, slowly grinding it up. And it looks like the option positions are doing still fairly well. And it went from like thirteen cents to sixty four cents, and then I'm guessing they took part of that um, to monetize. Uh, so they're now now they're starting like the. Uh, the new week at 30 cent debit so it looks like they're they're doing well here and then Netflix uh, same thing so again uh, the cash position went up slightly well not slightly but I guess like from 8 cents and then it went to 49 cents and then so on and so forth they've been steadily increasing like over the course of the week looks like they were trying to monetize like their options so that's a good thing and then the treasuries actually went down like a little over a buck um, so not sure what's happening here uh, so let's see like the force went from like a, a negative uh, four cent credit uh, all the way up to 58 cent credit uh, a debit um, so it looks like they're doing okay over, over here overall and Nvidia is, is still holding up fairly strong um, even with all the, the crazy price action so the cash went from 670 down to 111. So it's good to see they're taking that that cash position and slowly putting it into the the treasury. So they they can eventually sell more premium. So in fact, it looks like they're they're doing so well that their like whatever credits that they had looks like they monetized that too. Um, and then they're, now they're starting the week at a positive uh, 92 cents debit. So that's good. And then OARC. Well, even OARC, it's I mean, on the surface, it looks like they're they're slowly trying to climb out out of the hole. Uh, so hopefully, they can keep continue to do that. Otherwise, they'll, they'll probably have to like wind up uh, doing a reverse split. Uh, like the cash went from sixty nine cents to sixty three cents, so it's not that big of a change. And then the options went from negative thirty six. So the new week is uh, it's a lot skimpier, unfortunately. Uh, the treasuries, all right. So it looks like they're at least holding on to like the treasuries. So. So hopefully, um, this can continue to do well. Oh, I mean better. Uh, and then PP looks like PP looks like it's doing well uh, again. So it looks like you know hopefully they can get back to like twenty bucks. Uh, and then the the cash. Let's see. So it went down, but then you also see the corresponding uh, change into like the treasuries. So that's good. Uh, it looks like their credits. Looks like ooh, that's not good i don't think like the it went from uh 57 cents from last week and now it's starting off the new week at six cents so that's um well hopefully they can do better and then let's look at square uh so it went from 23.97 to 24.23 so it's not too bad uh well and although like the cash went went to negative to start the week so so i'm wondering what's happening there uh because the treasury looks like it's increasing, so that's a, that's a good thing. Um, the option positions went from positive nine cents to twenty, a positive twenty-seven cents. So that's interesting, because it looks like they, they did so well. I'm guessing because it went from like a dollar fifteen to to a twenty-seven cent uh, debit. So I'm I'm hoping they they were able to take some of that that position and kind of offset some of the the uh, the cash bleed a little bit. So I'm wondering if it's like people like taking taking money out uh, just to take profits, which you know is probably not a bad thing. And then Tesla, okay, at least like Tesla is starting to kind of grind back up too. And then let's let's see. So 
the cash went from 39 to 33 cents so okay so maybe some people are taking a little bit of money out and then let's see the options went from 75 cents credit to 16 cent credit to start the new week so that's probably not the greatest thing uh it looks like their treasure position like held fairly well so hopefully again tesla will you know hopefully c climb back out of the hole and then let's take a look at shomo so the cash position went down from 347 to dollar 77 uh, looks like some of that went to the treasuries uh, so that's good uh, so now they can have a better base to sell more options uh, so went from 21 cent debit options to overall position of 47 cents so that's good to start the week and then msty so this is pretty like pretty strong price action like even though like bitcoin went down um, and then the cash positions i mean this is pretty wild when you think about it like the their cash position like 1655 was actually greater than like what like tesla's entire position which is kind of sad and funny at the same time uh, so it looks like they've been, they've been uh, monetizing the cash position pretty well and sticking it back in the treasuries so that they can continue like their adoption positions. And I mean, this is, uh, I mean, they did a good job in terms of timing, like like the MSTY uh, release. Uh, this is probably like the best one uh, so far. Um, and hopefully they'll, they'll release like more, more ETFs like this uh, because they, I mean, this is, this is pretty wild. Um, so they're starting off like the the new week at like four dollars and seventy cent credit. So that's that's pretty amazing. Uh, unfortunately, Ulti, um, it's it's just I guess it is what it is. I guess like some of the positions they haven't like under like the umbrella. Uh, well, I guess maybe in another video, like I'll talk more about it. Uh, this has I mean it's not the end of the world, but it's a little disappointing to me. Uh, I was kind of hoping that this would be like the actual best one or at least like in the running um, but you know I guess like stuff happens uh, so I guess we have to give it more give this one like a little bit more time uh, like the cash position went down um, so at least like for the options well it went from like 83 cent uh, credit and it looks like they're starting off the week at $2.44 debit so hopefully they can kind of like eventually kind of like repair the position so uh, thank you for watching. Um, again, if you can like and subscribe, uh, we'd like to kind of continue uh, deeper and more analysis on not just yield max, but like the different um, high yield uh, ETFs out there. Uh, but if, of course, like if there's no support, um, well, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. So, you know, thank you for any support. I uh, hope you guys make some good money out there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.